Plastic straw bans have become popular across the country, including places like California, Seattle, Washington, Portland, Maine, and most recently, Washington, D.C. In 2014, the Sustainable D.C. Omnibus Amendment Act was passed in an effort to ban the use of disposable food service ware made from styrofoam and other products that can't be recycled or composted. In 2018, D.C. Councilmember Jack Evans proposed the Sustainable Straws and Stirrers Amendment Act, which changed the current ban to include single-use plastic straws and stirrers. Starting January 1, 2019, the Department of Energy and Environment began inspecting businesses and ensuring compliance with the ban. As of July 1, 2019, businesses and organizations in the district can be fined up to $800 in accordance with the Sustainable Straws and Stirrers Amendment Act. According to National Geographic, the overall goal of many of these plastic straw bans is to end the circulation of single-use plastic. But just what is encouraging these bans? According to National Geographic, Americans use a shocking 500 million plastic straws every single day. These can include plastic straws, bendy straws, straws on juice boxes, cocktail straws, and plastic drink stirrers. Additionally, it can take up to 200 years for a single plastic straw to decompose. Plastic is not biodegradable and therefore never completely degrades. This means that these straws will essentially be on Earth forever, according to Rubicon Global. Of the 8.3 billion metric tons of plastic ever produced, a mere 9% has been recycled, according to National Geographic. The rest is either incinerated or ends up in landfills, dumps, or the environment. If nothing is done to reduce single-use plastic, there will be more plastic than fish in the ocean by 2050, according to Business Insider. Environments and economies are likely to be severely compromised. Many in support of banning plastic straws also cite the feasibility of eliminating them. Strawless Ocean, an initiative to reduce single-use plastics, says that refusing the single-use plastic straw is the easiest and simplest way for everyone to take action and to address plastic pollution. Finally, one of the biggest motivators in banning plastic straws, plastic makes up 75% of all marine debris, seriously impacting marine life. Catherine Plume is vice chair for the Sierra Club Washington, D.C. chapter. The Sierra Club is a nationwide environmental organization that has heavily voiced its support for plastic straw bans, including here in the district. I testified in favor of the ban. I realized that banning plastic straws and stirs is not going to save the world. However, I think it's an important first step and it starts to raise awareness about the issue with people that otherwise might not be attuned to the issue. While these plastic straw bans have gained great support from people and organizations like Mayor Bowser, Our Last Straw, and the Sierra Club, others are hesitant, arguing that a plastic straw ban will hardly make a dent for several reasons. First, only 0.025% of the 8 million tons of plastic that flow into the ocean every year is comprised of plastic straws, according to National Geographic. Second, alternatives to plastic straws, like the paper straws many are accustomed to seeing in D.C. restaurants today, can cost up to 10 times as much as paper straws. According to CNBC, plastic straws cost half a cent, while paper straws cost two and a half cents, which can hurt local businesses forced to find pricier alternatives. Another argument is that businesses like Starbucks are ditching plastic for even more plastic. DC Starbucks now offer plastic sippy lids, which are not necessarily better than plastic straws. Finally, the disabled populations likely will suffer greatly from plastic straw bans. Many people with disabilities heavily rely on plastic straws. Oftentimes, paper and compostable straws do not suffice. Because it has only been a year since DC's plastic straw ban went into effect, it's difficult to measure concrete impacts on both the environment and on local businesses, according to Catherine Plume. Only time will tell, but many, including Catherine, believe that eliminating plastic straws is just the beginning.